And we're back. Look at this. We're about to discover the super, super secret uh, upgrade a, a thing that was down here earlier. I just need to uh, recharge my health here. So, fun fact, in case you can't tell by the bottom right, we got the diffusion beam, by the way. Big reveal. Uh, this is not recorded at the same time as uh, I'm actually post-commentating this. This is not live commentary. There's the diffusion beam. The beam that whenever you fire, it explodes, and it can you can kind of shoot through walls. It has like an AOE kind of kind of effect that can reach through walls. We're about to use it on this thing, but yeah, this is this is post commentary. I um, this is me checking out the diffusion beam and talking about how strange that is. It's, I think it's it's the only new beam effect we've seen thus far. Um, I don't. What, was it called white beam in 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 zero mission or? Because I know in in in, in uh, Super Metroid it's called the Spacer Beam, but wow, look at me, look at me having a great time just exploring the Spacer Beam. And yes, it can hit these snakes, these snake things, these little little thingies when they're under the the ground. The things that I was killing there. Also, yeah, these these blocks on the right. I talked a lot about this in the original commentary, but yeah, it turns out when I when I muted my microphone uh, last episode. I completely forgot to, uh, I completely forgot to unmute, so then I have this, like, 29-minute episode where I'm not, I'm just not, uh, there, there was no audio, so I was forced to do some, some post-commentary. I don't know what I'm doing here. A little strange. Um, having some issues wall jumping. Oh, yeah, this wall thing. It's, it's, it's crazy. You have to, like, I had some issues here. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna notice that I had some issues here. But... You have to, like, uh, hold on to the ledge and jump off it, off the same wall, which is something I'm not used to Metroid kind of trying to exploit. I go back in. Look, I go back into this hole a lot of times. It's the story of my life. But I'll get it eventually. Um, yeah, so I have to sit through 29 minutes of, of, <laughs> of stuff that I already played, which is not good for productivity. Do I go in here? Oh, no, I probably hit the thing up, up top, right? Yeah, I remember feeling really smart. I was like, oh, that's how you do it. Gotcha. I'm, I am having some issues. Because if you if you press left, right, it's not like a Metro Fusion. I think in Metro Fusion, you had to hold towards the ledge and press A, and you would go in there. But in this one, there you go. I've mastered it. I'm a master now. I'm probably talking about how much of a pro gamer I am at this point. But in this game, if you just press left while you're holding on to an edge that's on the left side... Then it just uh, it just makes you go in. Um, I'm probably trying to figure out where I'm going. Oh no, here's the teleportal. The teleportal that's going to take me to Dyron. Which is very exciting. So here we go. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about because I don't know... I don't... I mean, I guess... Look, it's been a while since I recorded this. This video was recorded on... Let me have a look. This part seven. Part part eight is already recorded, but it, it oh there we go October eighteenth and today it is a lovely, a lovely Friday October twenty second. So I'm a little I'm a little at a loss as far as to to what to say here. I don't remember a lot of this, but here we go. Teleportal to to teleportal to Dyron, and uh, yeah here's this thing. I remember we did see this, and I had no idea how we would do it. I thought we would just get the wave beam and break that thing that way, but it would be too early for the wave beam, if there even is a wave beam here. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can go in here because it's hot now. Man, the, the, the various suit. These are my favorite enemies because they're the easiest to counter. These things here. You see? I always do it just to prove that I can, even though it's like the easiest enemy in the universe to, to counter. Oh, here I do... Oh, yeah, I remember being happy about this. I do that little... I know there's a sequence break where you can slide and jump after you slide. And I did it there, and I felt very proud. But that's that's kind of how... Uh, I've talked about a sequence break. I'm not sure where it is. I don't know if I missed it already. But there is a sequence break where we have to slide through a morph ball hole like that and then jump at the end. That's me exploring the map, I assume. God, that's annoying. How do you guys put up with that? <laughs> Here I am, exploring every single inch of the, of the map. And then failing to get up there. It really is very very fun to watch, right? Just me jumping around. I wonder what I'm talking about here. 
A lot of this video is going to be me wondering what I'm talking about here, but I am just sitting here. Maybe I'm talking about... I'm probably, I probably... I do remember talking about this. I don't remember this was a past episode, but I did talk about it in, a, in, in one of the episodes, um, which was... I, th I, I think the, the audio for that one is fine, but... How do people, how do people used to move around, or still do, you know, depending on whether this place is abandoned or not? Which I don't think it is. Um, it looks way too, I mean, who's paying the electric bills, right? Oh, hang on. Alan's gonna talk. appears to be a biological research laboratory. You have already reactivated one generator in this area. There is another sector above you still suffering from the black cloud. Find the next generator and reactivate it. You are slowly recovering your abilities. I have still not established what happened to you physically. Don't let your guard down. Your primary objective is to survive. Proceed with the utmost care. Thanks, Adam. Thank you, bro. Let's make sure to save our game. Sam is looking badass as hell. Yeah, how do people move around this environment? Like, the pe people are out here doing all sorts of somersaults and shit. And also... I feel bad for these creatures that are just running around. If this place is populated, why do they have so much random shit? Look at that Look at that ramp up there, right? Look at that, the ramp where I just shot that, like, spiky ball thing. How do you use that ramp? There's, a, like, a, look at that. The spiky ball launcher thingy is, like, right in front of it. If it's a ramp, and you imagine going down it with a wheelchair or something, how the hell are you going to be able to get over that massive bump? Where the where the spiky ball is launched. I don't know. I remember thinking I remember thinking this was an ammo refill or something. I don't remember. A lot happened. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this. Which Emmy is this? Is this the yellow Emmy? Oh, it's down there. Hang on, this is gonna be fun to watch. I think I hide from it right here. Maybe not. I don't remember what I did. Oh, there it is. It's the yellow one. That's the, uh... The Emmy with the speed booster and everything. Ooh, shit. Oh! Oh, yeah. Watch this. Ready? Nope. Missed it. But I do get this one. That was my first counter. I'm so sad because I was pogging. I'm so sad I, I missed the, uh... I missed... I, I don't have the audio for it because I was very excited. It does seem to be a little bit laggy. By the way, during these parts, I still need to adjust some of the settings, but it is infinitely more watchable. Just a little bit of a frame drop here and there. Not too bad, really. Having some... Ooh, I remember this. I was panicking. Ooh! I love that maneuver right there. I... Man, I can't... I'm scared, dude. Here we go. I got it, I got it, I got it. We're out, we're out, we're out. And then this. I think this is another part where I was standing around looking at this monster and I was like, that looks like the gaping the gaping dragon from Dark Souls. Because everything that's like a little that's like a dragon, that's a little uh that has that general shape, I'm just like, that looks like a it has to be the gaping dragon from Dark Souls. I think I go back in here to have a better look at it. I do love, by the way, the lighting in this game. Look at the charge beam lighting up the background elements. That's so cool. I remember I was trying to, to explore the top part of the map here, and I think I, I, I'm, like, upset at how I can't reach this this one little block up here. And, and I expand the map. I'm like, look at it. It's this one. This one right here. <laughs> but whatever. I, I did eventually get it, so. Like, the, the, the map change where... where uh, it slowly, it only shows what you've seen, like, it, it uncovers it slowly. It's a lot more picky, unlike Fusion, right, where it's like a giant block and it's like, alright, you've been here. It's, it's, it's a whole screen. This change, where, it, where it's very specific about where you are, is simultaneously the best and worst thing that's ever happened to this series in terms of how I play it. Because now, I'm obsessing over exploration... And it takes a lot more work to get it done proper, you know? But it's okay. Look, it's fun. So that's what matters, right? I think I'm still trying to... Yeah, that's when I spot the bottom one. So these tubes, we cannot use them yet. I thought we could, and I was like, wait, there must be a way to circumvent this one. But then I, I realized now. 
There is no way to circumvent it. We have to go back. So I end up going back in here to the Emmy zone. A little scared because I don't know where it is. The Emmy, the Emmy are interesting. Um, I've not this. I've not. I don't have a fully. I've not fully decided how I feel about them, but thus far, I kind of enjoy having to dodge them and, and, and bob and weave around. There's a lot of people that don't like them, I think, because they're like, oh, it's interrupting my flow. But like, it, it, I think it gives the areas more progression, you know? I, I will say, most Emmy zones do unfortunately, are, unfortunately are a little visually, are not as visually stimulating as some of the other areas in the game, like, uh, I don't know. It, it um, th they always have this sort of aesthetic, right? And, and it's a little, it's a little unfortunate. At least all the Emmy zones I've seen thus far, I do think it establishes, hey, this is an Emmy zone a little bit better by having the same general aesthetic between them. But also, it kind of makes it a little boring. Oh yeah, I was looking at this thing, and I, th I think that's a power bomb expansion. Which is strange. I don't have a power. I don't have access to power bombs yet, but I'm pretty sure that was a power bomb expansion. Assuming the power bomb is in this game. Once again, I do enjoy. I do love the backgrounds in this game. I was exposing everything there because I'm like, how the how how does this work? How do you get this? And I think I I think I go back up top. Oh, you can't. But I think I I decide. Oh, there you go. Need the need the bombs. Wait. Wait, do I not have the bombs in this video? I got so used to having the bombs, I guess I don't have them yet. That's a little strange. Oh yeah, that's why I'm not using the tubes. Yeah, I don't have the bombs. Strange. See, that's weird, because I recorded the next video. I'm trying to not talk about the, the power-ups I got in the next video. It's a little hard to forget. It's a little hard to remember, sorry. It's very easy to forget defeat these like I don't even know what those are other than strange extremely strange here's another one of those weird tubes and something is smacking on there's a lot of noise there um oh by the way today after going on Twitter I've learned that it is the one th uh it's been 1000 days since uh Metroid Prime 4 was said to have restarted development. I think that was a, a Nintendo Direct. There's nothing but sad. Nothing but sadness around here, folks. A thousand days. That's not too, That's not really too much for a game, right? Because, like, how many days... How many days are there in... In two years? Like... Eight... Hang on. Eight hundred... No, seven hundred and thirty? 730 days so really it's just it's it's almost three years i think but i do hope that because it was in development for a while we have some like art assets done i think not always but i think art is one of the more intensive parts of game design uh deciding the aesthetic for places and just how it how everything's gonna how everything's gonna look like character designs and, and such are, are usually really difficult. So I hope that they were pretty far in development when it came to that, and uh, and that most of the art is done and the planning for the areas. Because if they completely restarted, that's gonna be a long time. And I'd rather, you know, I'd rather it take a long time than just have a game that gets rushed. But uh, I do want Metro Prime 4 really badly. I also want them to... to uh, I want them to release the trilogy. The trilogy on Switch. I think a lot of people do. Just so more people can play it. Um, I know a lot of people that haven't been able to play the trilogy. But I can't even imagine what the games would play like. Oh, look at that. Speed booster blocks. I can't imagine what the game would play like um, using dual sticks, you know? I have no idea what that would be like. 
no concept of what that would be like. I can imagine it being a little bizarre, right? Because when you're using the GameCube controller, obviously the view resets back to normal. And when you're using a, a Wii, uh, uh, a Wii remote, a Wii remote, your view almost always resets back to normal because you want to like rest your hand, and that ends up that ends up with the with the the arm cannon facing straight forward. But it has to be so strange with uh, dual sticks, right? Dual analog sticks. Your view won't reset again, so it's it it kind of gets rid of that neutral state that Metroid Prime has always played in, where you could be looking slightly up or slightly down. And I don't know why that weirds me out. But yeah, the place we were just at is now cold because we've turned the power back on. Look at that, looking like Metroid Prime. That generator looked like Metroid Prime. I think I remember mentioning that. Now we're going, we're making our way back through this area, but now there's power. Can you believe it? And the sealed door up here. I love how the how the missile doors look in this game, by the way. Or the sealed doors. I think they look super rad. Oh, ooh, a little bit of a little bit of missed frames there. I don't know if that's gonna show up in the recording, but I need to I need to adjust some of the settings. Turn them down just a tad, maybe. We're going to go into this missile door now and see what's on the other side. Oh, look at that. It's the bombs we've been waiting. We've been waiting our whole lives. Look at, look at me. Look how excited I am. Look at my eyebrows. Bottom right. Is that where my eyebrows always are? Shit. I don't know. Don't concern yourself with it. Um, bombs can damage enemies, destroy bomb blocks, or expose hidden blocks. The bomb, yeah, the, well, they will propel Samus forward. Of course, immediately I look up the, ins the, the 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 triple bomb jump, and I get it almost immediately. Bomb jumping is very easy in this game, actually. The radius, the hitbox for the explosions to launch you up is actually gigantic. So that was exciting, but like, this game seems pretty good against uh, sequence breaking. So, I'm not necessarily super excited about being able to bomb jump. I don't think there's going to be anything that we'll be able to do that's going to be, like, major. Oh, yeah, here's one of the tubes. Fascinating. Now I'm exploring. Oh, yeah, you can press Y. I think I showed this already to show any other uh, of these items on the, on the map. And I'm looking at everything... Every single one of these Morph Ball launchers that have just opened on the map. I'm, I'm checking them. I'm checking all the ones that I know of. And, uh, oh yeah, this enemy has so much entrance. Uh, it's like such a grand entrance. It has its own little animation and I instantly hit it and it dies. I thought that was pretty funny. I was having a great time. Going back in here to this Morph Ball launcher. We're back over here and it looks like this is Corpius. But maybe not. Maybe it's the same species. I, I couldn't tell. I didn't look at the tail very well. I, and also, Corpus corpse just kind of disappeared. So, but man, this is this is awful. Look at the look at them zapping their individual nerves, nerve endings in order to induce movement. I, mean, I say it's awful. That kind of stuff happens in experimentation or all the time, you know, and 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 lab and labs. They want to they want to figure out how we work. Here we are, back to the rhino beetle friends, as usual. I know they're not rhino beetles. But that's what I called them, and that's what I'm going to continue calling them. Another morph ball launcher here, and now we're down to this place. Looks like where you fight, <laughs> where you, f oh, can we go back up? Is that what I'm testing? Oh yeah, I, I'm trying to get this. Yeah, I'm trying to get this because I saw the map was flashing. I think was the map flashing. I didn't. I didn't notice. Chili forty three, by the way, now playing Super Mario Maker two. In case they were curious, I'm exploring this little tunnel before I go in and uh, I go in and uh, encounter the Emmy again. I was checking if you could go through it with the morph ball, which of course you can. Why wouldn't you be able to? I got hit by this because I'm a dumbass. And here comes the Emmy. I think I decided to just leave. 
and then go back in and try and be more more cautious about these things. First of all, snipe this thing. The world's slowest snipe in the universe. Ooh. Hang on, everybody be quiet. The Emmy's down there. I'm just trying to be very, very quiet. Oh, the Emmy has seen me. Oh, God, what happens here? Oh, I think I'd probably die here, right? Yeah, I, I've perished. Yeah, so there's, <clears throat> there's some stuttering and such every now and then, which is a little upsetting. I'd have to look into the settings again, because that's unfortunate. I think at this point... Whew, man, excuse me. I think at this point I decided to just book it. Not not wait around, because this is the fast Emmy, so you have to really book it. Oh my god. Does it go in this in this tube? What do you think this Emmy is constantly searching for? I guess obviously intruders, like me. But like, whatever. So be it. I am an intruder. Here's the thumbnail. The thumbnail for this video is already made. Look, I had a hard time with the thumbnail. Um, I didn't make it. It was my partner that made this one. Well, my partner has made all of them. Because they're just so goddamn amazing. But there, there were like no cutscenes or anything in this video. So I'm like, oh, how am I going to, how am I going to make a thumbnail for this? And then there's the stormy, raging, raging sea there. And here we go, new area. Burenia. I don't know how you pronounce it. But we're there. Here we are. Samus just stands there, like, there, there's no there's no time to rest for Samus. She doesn't sit down, she doesn't, like, chill against, uh, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't lounge. She's just standing there, ready to go. She's well-trained. She's a well-trained soldier. She's not a soldier, she's a bounty hunter. And we are, Burenia. 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 As you can see, it's rainy. I love, I do love the, the aesthetic out there. I wish we could be out there and not in here. Also, wait. Isn't our our whole uh? Isn't our our whole point, our whole goal, to get out of here? If there's rain falling, surely that's the surface, right? Can we not break through the walls? I guess not. Bring an Omega Cannon. I do love the sound design here with the uh. With the with the sounds getting getting muffled. I think it is fantastic. And these, these sucky, sucky creatures are like the worst enemies in the game. Nothing but annoying. Especially this guy. Look at this. What an asshole. I guess you'd have to come out and like shoot it from the bottom down here. When do I test it? Yeah, I, I knew that I tested the morph ball, morph ball jump soon. Because I was like, how high up does the morph ball jump? Also, you see that thing down there? It kind of looks like the, the doors in, uh, in uh, you know, the Space Pirate Frigate. Isn't that strange? In Metro Prime 1? Oh yeah, this thing. I remember being very shocked by this. I was like, what the hell is this thing? And also, my aim is not the best. We're still over here with these Cardinal Direction shooter things. 8 Direction. I don't know why I jump here. I do remember reviewing the footage, and that's the part that I went to to check if the check if the if the footage was act, had actually actually had the audio recorded. And I do remember watching myself jump, and I'm like, why? Why am I doing that? All right, is this is this Adam? Yeah, here Adam spoils some some power ups for us. So enjoy this. Gravity suit to operate there at full efficiency. 
one spoiler. Two spoilers, three spoilers. Gravity suit, grapple beam, and space jump, I think, were the things that were just spoiled for us. So thanks for that, Adam, you little shit. These enemy, this enemy almost kills me, by the way. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got really close to death here. Maybe, maybe not. Never mind. I, I lied to you because it was fun and because it was funny. You know what? I didn't even try to bomb jump there. I could have gotten up on that thing that they were avoiding me getting up on now that I can bomb jump. I realize this now. Looking at these green things, and I'm thinking about the, the super missile, by the way. I wonder when we get that, if we get that, if it's in this game. Man, this area is gorgeous as well, by the way. I remember there were a lot of people that were concerned about how the game would look. If it was all just gray space station, but... I really love how this place looks. I, I would love to just chill right here. Maybe without all the giant enemies. Regardless. You've discovered here a, a secret. This I, I remember mentioning how this reminds me of the Spazer. I thought you got the Spazer beam in Super Metroid. They have a setup almost almost identical to this, I think. Do they have the blocks? Two blocks that two types of blocks that break to your to your morph ball bombs, but then they have one that only breaks to your beam, and you have to kind of figure only breaks two, only breaks from. Uh, shots from your beam so you kind of have to figure that out and shoot it from afar it's really not that difficult but it did give me a little i was a little bit nostalgic about that just then i think it was uh, i think it's a cute cute little detail there we see you reusing the same ideas you little shits and here we're about to go down the shaft we can go back up if we want to we're just about done with this episode. I mean, I'm looking at the, the time, and it looks like we have exactly two more minutes left, uh, as of me saying that. So we must run into a save. We must run into a save station. Oh yeah, I think I try to get this energy tank. It doesn't work because there's just no easy way. They 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 thought about it. I'm trying to expose. Yep, yeah, the whole the rest of this floor is just the crumble blocks. So. How do we get that? I don't know, but I will tell you that we do have that by next episode. <gasps> Whoa. Careful. Oh my god, I shot so fast just then. Did you see that? Oh yeah, I talk about how these things... Someone, I know someone figured out how to skip these because they're... If you jump for in a, at a frame perfect... If, you, if you're frame perfect with your jump... You can make it past these, but I don't think you can do it on this one because the ceiling is so low. I think you would hit it. I think you would hit the, the ceiling there and not be able to properly, not be able to get the amount of, the, the height that you need. So I, I think, uh, I don't think it's actually possible there, but I, I know I'm willing to be proven wrong. And uh, yeah, there we go. Look at this. This is the safe station. So... I don't know what I'm doing other than exploring the save station. <clears throat> Man, that was fun, wasn't it? I had to sit and rewatch my own footage for <laughs> 29 minutes. But uh, yeah, I am, uh, I'm going to go end up, uh, go end the episode and go eat some breakfast. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.